Yo, what is going on, you guys? This is your boy Pluto here with another nigga tutorial. Sorry, sorry. Another episode of Pluto Tuts, and this one will be on how I sync my feeds and my cinematics. So, let's get started. Um, I have my clip and my song ready. Uh, for this, I will be only be like syncing one shot, and uh, I'll be telling you how I do it, and you'll get the basic concepts of what I do. <clears throat> so, I'm sick, so just bear with me. So you get Twixter, you drag it on your club. I put my frame rate up to 59.97. Drag this up. My motion sensitivity is up to 100. I check Smart Blend. And then you want to find out where you want to start on your club. So let's see. <clears throat> I guess I'll start right here when he's running. Now you want to kick on the, the speed. Next to speed is a clock watch. You click on that. Oh, excuse me, guys. <laughs> Just had some soup. <laughs> All right, so you press Union Keypad, which will bring up the keyframes. And then you want to go over two keyframes, and then drag the speed from 100 up to 160, 150. And then you just want to go over a little bit, not so much. And then keyframe it again, go over another two keyframes, and drag it down to 40. Drag the speed down to 40. So for my concept, it's like I like to speed clip in, then slow it down, and right when he shoots, speed it up, and then after he shoots, slows it down. That's basically what I do. Alright. <clears throat> so now, you want to speed it up. So go over three keyframes, keyframing at 40. Actually, go over two keyframes. Then go over another two keyframes, drag it up to 150. Actually, for this one, I have to drag it a bit more, so like 190. And, well, let's do 170. I don't have any specific uh, settings, I, it just goes on and flow the clips. And then after he shoots, keyframe it. Then go over two, three keyframes, and then drag it down to 40. And let's see what we got so far. <clears throat> Alright, you guys. So basically, this is all it is for me seeking feeds. Uh, I slow it down. Actually, I speed it up at the beginning, slow it down. And then right when he's about to shoot, I speed it up. And afterwards, slow it down. So that's basically it. So now let's get in for the let's get to the cinematics. Let me get me a cinematic out. One second. I'll pause the video real quick. Okay, I'm back and I got a cinematic for y'all. Okie dokie. So let's get Twixer first wall dragging on. Okay, so for this one, this cinematic. I usually go for like death. I used to go right before he dies. So right here, and I just cut it. Oh shoot! It's fucking Camtasia. Uh, let's see. I can't cut it, so I have to drag it out. So like right here. All right. <clears throat> I'll go a little bit before. So now same settings. Fifty nine point nine seven. Let me type it in 59.97 and then 100 keyframe smart plan. Check the clock, press U over one keyframe. All right, for this one, uh, the idea is to speed it up and then just slow down. So I drag mine up to um, 260 and I go, let's see. About one second, and I put it down to 10. So it goes speeds up and then slows down. Let me lower the keyframe. <coughs> and it also depends on the song used for how how long or how long you want the keyframe or you know. So this is basically it, you guys. How I sync my Twix, how I sync my feeds and cinematics with Twixter. Um, next, probably my next tutorial, not my next one, but next one, this I'll go in depth 
of how I sync it with my feeds and whatnot. So if this helps you uh, with learning how to sync feeds and whatnot, leave a like and comment, you guys. You nerds, I'm out. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. It's awkward. <laughs>